Good afternoon. I'm Paul McGowan. Thanks for joining me. Let's see, uh, let's see what little gems we got today. I had um, somebody on YouTube had asked me not to use envelopes anymore because it's it's waste. I mean, it is kind of, but I bought, I bought a whole box of them, so I don't know if I should go through them or or what. Anyway, um, let's just see. This is uh, from Joe of Victoria, Canada. Hi, Paul. With regard to vinyl recording and playback, how does the playback stylus, and for that matter, the cutting head, keep separate the sound vibrations emanating for each channel? Hmm. Does each side of the head stylus vibrate separately somehow? Well, um, that's a really good question. The... Um, Let's see if I can remember. Um, if, if memory serves correct, and I believe so, it's been a while, I, the grooves of a record are cut in the, at 45 degree angles uh, in, in a V. And I believe the left and the right channels, uh, one's on each side, and then there is... A, uh, a bottom uh, groove that moves the needle up and down in addition to the left and to the right as it's scraping through. And the bottom one does a left minus right. And I believe these two are a L plus R. Um, I'll, I'll have our video editor throw something in. Let's see if I can do this cool. I just grab hold of this and pull it back. Maybe the, uh, the, the editor gods will uh, show you exactly how it's done over there. But best uh, of my memory is that it is a 45 degree angle uh, and it uh, has the left and right channels on each side. The, the needle bounces up and down in, in the groove, which does a left minus right, which is how it's telling the difference between the two. And I also seem to remember there's about 30 dB of channel separation available. Uh, nothing like what's available on digital, which runs, oh, 100 dB, 90 dB, something like that. So vinyl is 70 dB or so dynamic range and about 30 dB of separation. And one of the, the reasons I think people like vinyl a lot, well, Many people feel it just it just sounds better. <laughs> um, the The lack of separation gives almost a a different feel to the way the center channel is is formed, because if you if you don't have a lot of separation, you have a very strong center channel, which as we've discussed before, the center channel, the phantom channel, if you will, is a combination of hearing exactly left and right in your ears at the same time and we create this phantom center channel that really of course doesn't exist physically but we hear it and when you have a lack of separation relative from one format to another digital being close to 100 db and vinyl being around 30 then you're closer to monophonic all center channel in a vinyl album than you are in a digital rendition. So not that that's a big deal. And there's a whole bunch of reasons the way they master records different. The, um, oh, there's just a, a ton of differences between the two. And records have a charm to them. I started in this business in 1973, 74, and all we had was records. We had direct to discs, the Sheffields. We had it was it was a great era. The first product we ever built, a phono preamplifier. So I I have a warm spot in my heart for vinyl, although I don't play much of it anymore. Anyway, thank you, Joe from Canada. Appreciate the question. Mm -hmm.